It was the day of the espresso party and Sal was excited. She couldn't wait until it began. Brooke Dawson, winner of Espresso's writing competition, reading her story to her classmates. The prize was to have her story made into a book, and the children in her class at St Joseph's Roman Catholic Primary School in Hartlepool were the first people to enjoy listening to it. Who liked Brooke's story? Me. Me. Excellent, me. excellent. Brooke, how do you feel right now seeing your first story in a book? Excited. Why? Because I've never had a proper book with my name on it before. How in my whole life. In your whole life, how fabulous. We're so proud of you, Brooke. And what a gorgeous photo. So how did Brooke's story go from this to this? We visited the publishers, Franklin Watts, to find out how it was done. First, the publishers type the story onto the computer into layouts. These show where the text will go. It's then the illustrator's job to draw pictures of the espresso characters that match the text. When these drawings, called roughs, are finished, the publisher chooses the ones they want to use and sends them back to the illustrator for a final colour. This is a best copy ready for the book. Once all the drawings and text have been put together onto pages, not forgetting a bit of information about the author, it's time to design the front and back covers. The designer puts the text in the correct position and then the images. It's easy to add new ones or change the size, colour and position of the graphics. The blurb is written for the back cover, giving the reader an idea what the story is about. Then the artwork is sent to Dan Jones at Hashett Books, ready to be printed. Each page comes out in big sheets. Lots of copies are made. A finishing machine cuts the pages to the right size. Finally, the cover is added and all the pages are put into the binding machine to create the finished book. Rachel Cook, publishing director of Franklin Watts, thought Brooke was a well-deserved winner. I think it's a great story. I think it's really charming. It's got a really good beginning, middle and end. It's a really well-structured little story. And Brooke obviously really enjoyed herself writing, writing it and we've really enjoyed turning it into a book. Everyone at Brooke's school is very impressed with her special achievement. As a school, we're so pleased that Brooke's won. We're a small school and Brooke's only five, so we think it's a massive achievement. I'm really proud. After Brooke's success, the children at St Joseph's have been inspired to continue writing interesting, imaginative stories. Who knows, maybe one day these stories will also sit on the library shelves alongside Brooks.